I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Friday, September the 25th. A couple years ago, December of 2013, Giants owner John Maris stood in front of the media and he told everyone the Giants offense was broken. Basically a decade, almost a full decade, of running the same type of offense for quarterback Eli Manning, and the results were no longer there. A couple years removed from a Super Bowl title, two for Manning and two for Tom Coughlin. Changes needed to happen. And when Maris stood up there and said that, I didn't just take it as the offensive system was broken. I took it as Eli Manning was broken within the offensive system. The offensive system that fit him so well and fit his skill set so well when he was a young quarterback had deteriorated around him and around the team. It was time to liven it up. It was time to freshen it up. And it was time to challenge Eli Manning with the new offense. Well, now 19 games in to this new offense. A full season last year under Ben McAdoo as the Giants came along as that season went along. And now three games here after Thursday night's victory over the Washington Redskins. The proof is clear. Eli Manning has been fixed by Ben McAdoo's offensive system. If you look at the numbers, 2012-2013, the Giants started to slog offensively after being a pretty good and pretty, you know, really well-established downfield passing attack during Eli Manning's early days in his career, in the mid-days of his career, winning two Super Bowls. But 2012-2013, Eli Manning completed only 58.6% of his passes, which in the NFL today is unacceptable. 44-42 44-42 to 42 was the touchdown-interception ratio. Basically, 1-1. to one. Again, not even close to good enough for a guy the Giants consider their franchise quarterback, one that had won two Super Bowls for them. The quarterback rating was 78.2. Eli Manning was an ordinary quarterback in a system that needed change. Well, now, 19 games in to the Ben McAdoo era. Eli Manning's stats under Ben McAdoo. 63.3 in the completion percentage. 5,000... 174 yards, a 34 to 14 touchdown and interception ratio, and that's what one awful game sprinkled in last year, a five interception performance against the Niners. So composite, you look at all these numbers, the way Eli's been commanding the offense, Tom Coughlin talked about it in the post game on Thursday night, said he's been steady, zero interceptions in the first three games this season. He had a couple gaffes, mental gaffes. First two games, the Giants lost games they should have won. But overall, you look at the play from Eli Manning this year, it's been high. It's been very good. Overall, you look at the play since Ben McAdoo took over at the beginning of last season, it's been very good. John Mary stood up there and told all Giants fans changes needed to come on the offensive side of the football, and I took it as, we need to fix Eli Manning. Well, now, 19 games in, a pretty good sample size of what this offense truly is, and the results are there. Ben McAdoo's system works, and he's fixed the most important player on the Giants, Eli Manning. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.